In this video, we are going to learn about the concept of congruent and similar figures. Now, when we talk about congruent figures, what we mean is there are two geometric figures which are having the same shape and size. So what does this mean? Let me show this to you. So what I've done here is I've added a rectangle over here. Let me call this as A, B, C, D. When I say that two geometric figure, and let's call this as figure one. When we say that two geometric figures are congruent when they have the same shape and the size. So what I mean by shape is that if this is a rectangle, if I have figure two, it has to be necessarily what? A rectangle. It cannot be a square, okay? It cannot be a triangle. It has to be a rectangle. It has to be of the same shape. And the second condition is that it has to be of the same size. So if I talk about this, let me draw two rectangles over here. If I call this as figure two, Figure 2 is nothing but just a copy of figure 1. So the size of figure 2 is exactly the same. If I call this as P, Q, R, S, the size of figure 2 is equal to the size of figure 1. Or in other words, size of 1 is equal to size of 2. So when we compare 1 and 2, what we have is that both of them are of the same shape. They are both rectangles and they are both of the same size so whatever let's say for example if I have to take it whatever is the length of AB that will correspond with the length of PQ whatever is the length of DC that will correspond to the length of RS whatever is the length of AD should be equal to the length of PQ PR and whatever is the length of BC should be equal to the length of QS now let me add another rectangle over here now if I call this rectangle as a1, B1, C1, D1. If I talk about the shape, the shape of this rectangle is the same as the shape of first rectangle. If I call it figure 1 and let me call this as figure 3. The shape of figure 1 and figure 3 are the same, but is the size same? If you look at it visually, you can very clearly say that Figure 3 is actually bigger than figure 1. In such a case, we say that the two figures, which is figure 1 and figure 3, are not congruent. In other words, to be congruent, what is necessary is that the shape has to be the same and the size has to be the same. So let's say, for example, if this is a circle, if another circle has to be congruent, what is necessary is that it has to be just a replica of this particular circle. So I've just copied it. Why? Because in those two figures, the shape and the size are equal. And therefore we say that these two are congruent. Right? As against this, if when we talk about the concept of similar figures, they are again of the same shape. So similar figure, if I have to talk about them, they are of the same shape. So if one is rectangle, the other one is also rectangle. Right? But when we talk about the size, the size are not the same. Coming back to our example over here, now figure 1 and figure 3, both of them are rectangle. Right? So both of them are of same shape, but their size are different. So what we say is that 
figure 1 and figure 3 are similar figure 1 and 3 are similar whereas figure 1 and figure 2 are congruent right we'll take the discussion on similarity a little more further okay if you look at this circle and this circle let me call this as C1 and C2 both of them are of same shape but the size is different it's not the same therefore these are similar again if you look at these two triangles and I'm assuming that these two triangles are actually equilateral triangles okay assuming these are equilateral triangles then their shapes would be the same but the sizes will be different as you can see it yourself so these are again what these are similar figures but not congruent right now when we talk about similarity similarity of polygons we divide them into two categories one is a triangle and the other ones are which are one which are not triangle or maybe something which has more than three sides from the perspective of similarity of polygons okay in case of triangle they can be similar when their corresponding angles are equal or the second condition is their corresponding sides are proportional I'll just show this to you what it means so let's say for example we say corresponding angles are equal so let's say we go to this particular diagram and for a moment I'm just assuming that this is not an equilateral triangle okay we have said that the triangles are similar if their corresponding angles are equal so if in this case let's say this is angle 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 we can say that the first triangle or triangle 1 is similar to triangle 2 okay if angle 1 is equal to angle 4 angle 2 is equal to angle 5 and angle 3 is equal to angle 6 the corresponding angles are equal right or the corresponding sides are proportional what does that mean let's say if I call this as a b c and this as p q r if the corresponding sides are proportional what that means is that a b should be proportional to p q a c should be proportional to p r and b c should be proportional to QR this is on the assumption that angle 1 is equal to angle 4 angle 2 is equal to angle 5 and angle 3 is equal to angle 6 right if these sides are proportional so AB is proportional to PQ right AC is proportional to PR and BC is proportional to QR if these three sides are proportional to each other then also the triangle can be said to be similar so the condition is alternative if three sides are proportional to each other then or if three angles are equal then in both the cases the triangles are similar so like I said the condition is alternative but in case of a polygon with more than three sides these conditions are cumulative what that means is that the angles have to be equal angles are equal plus the sides are proportional 
right so what does that mean so let's say for example if you have a polygon a b c d e and you also have a polygon p q r s t in this case these two will be similar if their angles are proportional what does that mean let's say this is 60 80 50 60 then in that case even the angle over here should be 60 80 50 60 so all the corresponding angles are equal and even the sides which are there are proportional in other words AB upon PQ the proportion of this side with this should be equal to C okay BC upon QR should be equal to CD upon RS should be equal to DE divided by ST should be equal to AE divided by PT the corresponding sides have to be proportioned the proportion of corresponding sides is equal right we hope you had a good time understanding these concepts thank you for being with us today